Today on Toy Shiz, Frank takes his coffee black and white. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally checking out the brand new Frankenstein, or Frankenstein's monster for you sticklers out there. Yous knows who you are. This is the black and white version of the new NECA Toys Universal Monsters figure. Warning, the monster is loose. Ultimate Frankenstein's monster right there on the box and on the sides you get really nice photos on the back side You got really nice photos and on this side you got really nice photos on the bottom of the box Everyone involved with the making of this figure So thank you very much for that and here is the barcode as well You can start looking for him in stores and shipping online if you prefer that way coming soon the box will slowly creak open and you get a nice look at the figure nice photo right there and the actual figure himself with all his accessories this is gonna be fun sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new universal monsters black and white frankenstein frankenstein's monster by neca toys and here's old Frank doing the Monster Mash right out of his packaging. And as you can see, it's the exact same figure as was the previous colorized Technicolor version of Frankenstein. And he comes with all the exact same accessories. But just in case you didn't see my last video, we'll do it right. We'll look at him in detail. You get these two really nice head sculpts. Loved them the first time, and I love them now. They capture Boris Karloff's Frankenstein weird facial expressions very well this is great and the black and white really works to the figure's advantage like with the hands the fingernails all the details everything presented in that full black and white glory along with the flowers you get two different versions of those and you get this really nice chain which hooks onto his wrists and it looks great and it's nice and heavy and it makes a nice chain clingy sound the frankenstein monster is fantastic liked him the first time and i like this black and white version do you need both? No, but if you're not a fan of, say, Universal Monsters in the colorized editions, well, maybe the black and white versions will be right up your alley, but we'll do a little comparison of the two. Really nice articulation on this guy. Nothing I had to heat up. He moves really seamlessly, to be quite honest with you. Love the articulation on this guy because he does all the unique Frankenstein movements that you need him to do. He doesn't have anything in the biceps. He doesn't have anything in the thighs, but he moves around very nicely. And he has one heck of an ab crunch to him, which is actually really nice to see. I gotta give it to him on that. Doesn't go back as much, but you can do the splits because you know that's what he's known for. And you can twist him at the knee. And I really like the way the pants are ruffled. He's got the big clod hopper boots. It's very cool the way it's done, right? And then you can pop the heads off and you have three interchangeable head expressions. And the heads all swap out really nicely. It's easy peasy. And I love the way the shadows play with this figure. When you move the head around, the different heads around, I should say, you get some different facial expressions out of them without doing too much. And yes, with the chain, simply just pop the hands off, put it around his wrist, pop the hands back on, maybe pick a different one this time. And there you go, you can chain him to something. And he's got the flowers, and it, he holds them really nicely. I just love the way that that looks. He just looks like he's having a really nice time doing his Frankenstein things. Now, with the other original Technicolor Frankenstein, you could say, yeah, you can see the difference. One's black and white, and one's got color. The exact same figure. So it really just depends which one you want to go with. You could go with both. But I would say pick one. I think you'd be set either way. But I gotta tell you, in terms of how the black and white is done, it's very well done. So I definitely dig that. Other black and white figures, scale-wise, black and white Donatello from Playmates Toys. You get the idea. Heck, you could even bust out the Universal Monsters Donatello Frankenstein monster that came out a few years back before Rise of the TMNT. But he looks great. And yes, for this Halloween, let's have a look at all of those turtles. That'd be fun. You can even put Jason Mewes and Kevin Smith in a photo with him, right? Maybe they're just hanging out with Frankenstein. Maybe he's selling them something, something unique. I don't know. But if you wanted to know how He-Man scales, Frankenstein will scale with a lot of different brands. Just saying. So in short, yes, I like the Technicolor one, and now I like the black and white one. Which one do I like better? I'm gonna be honest, I do like the colorized version better because I think it goes a lot more, a lot more photos. 
Although this one has like a weird dynamic where you could say Frankenstein and all the universal monsters are kind of stuck within that black and white realm. So you can kind of have fun with both. Plus, once you get all the other monsters coming out and they have black and white versions, that'd be kind of cool to put them all together. And yeah, hopefully we'll be doing that very, very soon. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this new black and white version of NECA's Frankenstein. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Universal Monsters. And thank you again to NECA Toys for sending this over to give you guys this early fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to Universal Monsters, I'm waiting for that Dracula. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.